Hey guys, welcome to Dedicated. My name is Andy, and this is part two of the video where I take great stuff foam and I fill it on my window to simulate a gasket. So now that it's dry, I let it sit for 24 hours almost, maybe a little less. Now I'm going to take a blade and I'm going to try to form it into a shape of a gasket. If you're new to this video, go ahead and check that out. I'll have it in the cards. If not, let's begin. Since the foam has a lot of holes and if it's very porous, I decided to try using a Bondo to fill up all those holes and also it will give it a little bit more rigidity to, to simulate that rubber type gasket. Tried to match this profile right here and I left extra so that way I can sand it down. Allow the Bondo to cure for 20 to 30 minutes before starting to sand it and form it into the shape you want. So here it is after it dried. So I made a mistake and when I was mixturing my Bondo I did two inches for the little strip, two inches of the mixture which I should have done half an inch according to the instructions. So mine took forever to dry, but after I think about a week, I don't use this car right now. So after about a week, it's dry. So now we're, I'm gonna try to sand it down and form it into the shape I want it. But first I wanna take this off so that way I can see it for me. So before taking off the, the top and bottom plate, I'm gonna actually cut it. That way I don't peel it off and it'll actually be a, a more of a flat surface. So let's try that. So it helps if you use a ruler to kind of keep it a straight, consistent edge. So at first glance doesn't look too bad, so now I'm going to sand it down and see what I come up with. So I took off a lot more on the top because I want to redo this and make it a little nicer because of my improper hardness and mixture. Um, it didn't dry in some places very well, it was still kind of tacky. So I want to redo this. So I want to get a nice smooth surface. That way I can uh, sand it better because right now it, look, it looks pretty bad. If I do this again, I probably wouldn't use that foam just because I feel like the Bondo cracks being on the foam. But I mean, I don't know. We'll see how it turns out. So it's forming a better shape now that I put the second coat on it and started to sand a little bit, but still some work to do. So we're getting a little bit better form after a second round and sanding. So now I wanna run a line here and see if I can make that, that design that profile to match and then I'm probably gonna have to fill up a little bit some of these little holes just so that I can get a nicer smoother finish so I'm gonna do that next so this is what it turned out to it's not too bad but it's not perfect but it's not too bad 
So up close you'll see more imperfections, but I think once it's painted and from a further distance, it doesn't look too bad. So let's get this cleaned up and painted. So I decided to get this uh, Rust-Oleum Leak Seal Flexible Rubber Coating instead of the Plasti-Dip because I feel like Plasti-Dip will, will peel versus I think this will be a more solid seal for the gasket. So let's give it a shot. So here's what it turned out to look like. Not too bad, just afraid it's going to be glossy. So here's how it turned out. Not too bad, but it's all right. I mean, it could have been better. I could have spent more time on it. I just got kind of tired of it. It's be getting rid of this car anyway. So here's what it looks like. Probably the worst corner over here. But overall, I think it's not, not that bad compared to what it was. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, leave a comment below and don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.